All right, so here is the polyphase interpolation filter that we built earlier in Simulink, and it's now ready for the HDL coding process. The first thing I'm going to do is grab all the blocks of the polyphase filter, right click, and create a subsystem. I'm going to give the subsystem a name. This can really be any name of your choice. I'm calling it polyphase interpolation filter by a factor of four. If I open up the block and look, you can see that compared to the prior iteration, I renamed a few things just to have a clean naming process uh, so that as it runs the HDL code, it will generate code that we can uh, understand and interpret better. Now, uh, if we go to settings, the solver should be set to a fixed step discrete solver. Under diagnostic, diagnostics sample time, the multitask data transfer and single task data transfer should be set to error. And we can go down to code generation. Uh, we want to be doing code generation on our block to the language Verilog. And it will go to the HDL source folder uh, in the MATLAB uh, folder that we're already opened uh, and operating in. At this point, we can click Generate Code, and it will generate the code for us. And you can see the code generation began. As the code generation is running, you'll see uh, Generating Code dialog here, uh, and uh, the uh, scrolling bar should be uh, running just to show that the code is being generated. All right, now the code generation is complete and it will bring up the HDL code in the right side of the window here. And you can see the HDL code for this filter consists of a top level module that's also going to call uh, a bunch of uh, lower level sub modules. Now I do wanna point out a couple of things that I didn't mention before. Uh, if we highlight the block and right click and go to HDL block properties, you can see that I did set this up to add pipeline registers. This is important if you want to close timing on this block at high frequency, as we are going to do later. And if we go back to the settings, I did under, under optimization, under pipelining, allow it to add pipelining for distributed pipelining and uh, clock rate pipelining. All right, we can generate the test bench now. Uh, if I go to the test bench tab and just run down and click Generate Test Bench, it will start generating a test bench. Back in the main MATLAB tab, uh, you can see that it has generated the test bench, including a few data files for the real and imaginary input and real and imaginary output. And it's generated the test bench as well. Uh, here is our test bench. Now, we're gonna have to modify this quite a bit, uh, but at this point, uh, it's easier to have the MATLAB code generator generate a test bench for you that you can uh, modify, and we're going to do that uh, in VS Code uh, on the next video.